everyone welcome back for another episode of exos hero so in today's episode we're going to discuss what we might probably get for the next few weeks in discord's leaks but before that if you wanted updated exos heroes content please hit the subscribe button down below okay so we're here now at the exos years data mining community discord server so in this server we will take a look at march data mine updates so more or less um we'll check out the resources and if you can see what we have here is actually the heroes from pedas which we actually know and by the way thanks for rasberg for updating this every now and then so more or less um we have this already lang Prithioff. but actually we have you know new updates i don't know i think i think this also went out uh on march 26th so we have here dan machi so they are actually teasing us again of another dan machi collaboration which i hope this will pu push through because most or most or some of the people have been waiting for this so more or less i'm i'm not really sure if this is going to happen but this has been teased in this exo series dana mining community in terms of what will be out so i'm not sure if, if it's going to be out this month or probably in may but let's find out so we have here ryu lion ace bell and hescha for danmachi so more or less um i don't know what to expect so we'll see what happens if they put this out but most importantly what i have come here to discuss is actually fc sabrina so more or less for fc sabrina she has been teased here i'll go back to and as a blue uh blue fate core so more or less again she will be featuring buffs for a certain nation so let's go through um the nations already that have blue fate core so you have fc baraka for wasted red which I really like so much because I'm using Wasted Red. So more or less, I'm happy with that. So next would be FC Tupaki, which is for North Von Frosty. Then you have FC Yao for Estorish Republic. Then you have FC Eden for Greenland. Then you have FC Rachel for Ilombe. So more or less for, for FC Sabrina, I'm actually thinking that she might be... The blue fate core for brun which is actually i'm happy because she's already with wasted red so i could build her up and um brun actually needs a lot of help right now because um dorka doesn't have her fc yet and they have not taken off as a nation yet so my speculation for this one would be um fc sabrina would go to brun okay as for the fc theme more or less we have a few fc themes Okay, so here we are now at the Faith Core th uh, themes. So the first would be Awakening. Again, I will not say she's going to belong to Awakening, but let's count which theme doesn't have any blue Faith Core. So you have Awakening. Next, you have Past, which you have here, FC Rachel. Then you have the Astrophism, which doesn't have a blue Faith Core. That is two. Uh, Banga Family has two Paki. Uh, Dragonite's Emperors has um, Baraka, and the Son of the South of the Southland has Yao. So uh, uh, next would be Idol. Um, so you have your Eden, but as a, a quick look on 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 her design, she actually sports a mic as well for her costume so i'm actually speculating that she would be added to idol because of her you know of, of her design of her costume but i don't know if if they meant it that this um theme would have two blue fade cores but we'll see so let's go back to to idol so again eden is there um, Time Walker doesn't have, so Blooming Sunday doesn't have any blue, but not most likely to be here. Uh, black and white, actually, 
I, I don't think she will be here as well. So there are only three factions that don't have, or three themes that don't have blue fate course. You have Awakening, Destrophism, and Time Walker, which is blooming someday. Uh, someday, yeah. So anyway, for her design, she actually fits Idol because of the mic, because of the costume. Again, if you can see here, she actually fits the profile for Idol. So I will place my bet on Idol. So more or less for Idol, I think she will also get the abilities of Idol, which we'll see. Let's have Eden as an example here um, for, for what you call this, for Idol. So more or less, she also gets Superstar, which afflicts target with attention mark for 7 turns when the skill hits. Increases all damage over time to the target hero with attention by 100%. So fan club uh, fix, afflicts target with anti-fan mark when the attack targets double team from all living allies if health of enemy with anti-fan is 30% or lower. So once every turn. So I guess she will just have this copy pasted over her passive. So I'm not sure yet if I think this is okay for her. Um, it's not really significant in terms of passive for for idol. Um, it's actually it's actually good. It's it's average in terms of passives for the themes. So more or less, my guess again would be idol for for her for another blue fate core probably because of her design. So again, she will have the abilities of idol. So going back to to what they call this to Sabrina. So FC Sabrina will probably drop um, around April 8th or April 15th. That's actually next week or next next week. That's just my prediction. Don't quote me on that. So she might drop because she's been teased already in terms of the next, the next, what they call this, the next designs that are coming out. I'm not sure if Dan Machi will go, will come out as well. This is actually I, I'm not I'm not really I'm not really sure about this, but her FC or her fate core has been teased a couple of times already, and it has been long coming that she should already be placed in Exos Heroes. And I'm actually looking forward to her um, in terms of building her kit. Okay, so as you can see here, I have here um, Sabrina, so she's in fated form. Sabrina was one one of the one of the first um, heroes that I used actually, and pretty much very useful as a beginner. So she has Dragonite Blessing, and she has Counter Three as well, which is very useful. So for her S one, she deals three hundred percent damage to an enemy, so required mana is one, very good as well. And for her um, S two, you have here Phoenix March. Three, three, three uh, mana for a burst skill deals 178 damage to all enemies. Very good as well because it's a burst skill. And more or less, this kit of hers actually needs some love because more or less the 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 fate course right now or the um, the heroes that have come out actually have eclipsed her in terms of abilities. And she her her design is actually pretty much very good, um, very eye catching indeed. And I do hope that her fate curl lands as soon as possible. Anyway, guys, that is it for me. So, um, again, this is just speculation. This is actually just my prediction on when she'll come out. Hopefully, she comes out soon. So, more or less, you guys um, put your comments down below. Um, comment on when this is going to drop. When this is going to be out. Are you going to be? Are you excited already that she's coming out? Are you excited of Dan Machi if they're really putting it out? And, uh, you know, put your thoughts down below. Um, again, um, hope that you guys subscribe to my channel. Mostly around 85% of the viewers of my channel haven't subscribed yet. So please do because this helps my channel very much. Also, guys, take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.